July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. 24-year-old Richard Mullins Jr. of Jenkins died Sunday after a rip current carried him into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Holden Beach, North Carolina. Mullins was swimming with several other people when the group was taken in the current Sunday afternoon. The other swimmers were rescued. Mullins was found dead late Sunday evening by a passerby on the beach, near where he had been swept away. His body was found after an extensive search and rescue operation had been conducted. Mullins' father, also named Richard Mullins, announced his son's death in a Facebook post late Sunday. I can't imagine heartbreaking to find, uh, get the news of something like that happened to one of your kids, but to be 11 hour drive away and his dad has disabilities as well. I don't know if his dad can even drive now or not, and uh, he was extremely upset. John Wyatt, a family friend of the Mullins family, said Richard Jr. had moved to the Holden Beach area in search of a new start. Richard Jr., the deceased, was a wonderful young man. Uh, I was real close to him. He hung out with uh, my kids, distant cousins of his, when he was teenage years, and very talented welder. He was a talented t tattoo artist. He had left here, my understanding is, he had left here with a friend and that was going to make Holton Beach his home and get a job there and uh, settle down and put some of the uh, issues here behind him that most all the teenagers have, you know, as we're growing up and uh, was looking for a new starting line. And it's uh, real sad, enjoying the day on the beach and tragically, you know, something like this happened. A tragic end to the life of a young man looking to start anew. Couldn't, couldn't, just can't comprehend the sadness that made me feel. In Jenkins, Chris Anderson, EKB News.